Okay, Kids Club will now come to order. Okay, you guys, settle down. Our club's starting. What are we going to talk about today? Lots of things. Lots of important things. Right. Since this is a safety club, we're going to talk about safety. What kind of safety? Personal safety. What's that? Sen, will you explain personal safety? Sure. It's taking care of ourselves and our bodies, keeping our person safe. How do we do that? We start by learning the rules. <laughs> Okay, club members, we're going to begin our meeting by acting out a pretend situation of something that could really happen. Imagine you're in a movie, sitting by your friend and having a great time. Suddenly, you realize you have to go to the bathroom, and you guys know safety kids never go to public restrooms alone. Santa and Gregor, let's see how you'd handle this. That happened to me once. Hey, I'm glad I don't have to do this. Oh, this is going to be hard. Let me think a minute. Well, here goes. Oh no, I have to go to the bathroom. My friend wants to watch the show. I can't go alone. He might get upset if I ask him to go with me. What will I do? get upset with me. Hey, Gregor, I have to go to the bathroom, and I can't go alone. All right, I'll go with you. The next time, let's both remember to go before the show starts. Yay! All right. Hey, the show. Very good. Safety kids always look out for each other, no matter what. And they look out for the little kids, like sisters or brothers or friends, because they might be too young to remember the safety rules. Good point. Ms. President? Yes, Amy? I'm having a hard time with one of those rules. Tell us. Maybe we can help you. 
Fifty kids have to memorize their phone number, and I just can't. Hmm. Freddie, you're the littlest kid in our club. Did you memorize your phone number? Sure. How did you do it? I learned a song and I sing my number like this. I learned a trick. Learned it quick. It's for my telephone. Just learned a song. Didn't take long. Now I can always call home. There aren't any words to this part, so you sing your number with a note song. Get the area code. It comes first. Different numbers at the same time, but it works and it's fun. kid is in charge. He knows the rules and he keeps them. Rule number one is never talk to strangers. Rule number two, always use the buddy system. Number three, lock the doors when you're at home alone or when you're tending and don't let anyone in. What if they say they have to come in? Too bad. They can come back another time when somebody else is in charge. Rule number four. Know your telephone number, and when people call on the phone, don't tell them if you're alone. Just say, my mother can't come to the phone right now. May I take a message? And don't tell them anything else. Rule number five. Don't let someone else do things to your body they shouldn't do. After all, it is your body, and you should be in charge of it.
Sometimes kids have trouble because they're afraid. Yeah, someone tries to look at them or touch them in a place that's covered by their underwear, and they're afraid to tell anybody. Because people might get mad if you tell them stuff like that. Or they wouldn't believe you. Then you just have to find someone smart enough who would believe you. Who would you tell, Gregor? I think about all the grown ups I know my teachers, my neighbors, my family. And I'd choose somebody I feel good around, and I'd tell them. Then they would help you. Safety kids always tell, even if they have to tell several people to find the right person. They won't protect somebody who's doing bad things to them by keeping it a secret. kids it's really important but there's one problem we haven't talked about yet what's that what if you get lost in a big store or at a circus or something like that i know what to do my mom taught me when i was little and it works times when safety kids find themselves in real danger and they need to have a plan. Situation one, somebody, even somebody you know, tries to do something to your body that makes you feel uneasy. Gregor, what do you do? I tell them to quit, and if they don't, I yell. Ah! You yell? Yeah, because sometimes you just gotta yell and scream. Sometimes it's the only thing Situation 2. A person keeps following you and they won't go away. Sam, what do you do? I yell, ah! and I hurry to a safe place. 
You yell? Yeah, yeah cuz sometimes you just got to yell and scream. Sometimes it's the only thing to do. Noisy as a fire truck, you just got to open up and get the crowd's attention turn to you. Sometimes you just got to yell and scream. Sometimes it's the only thing to do. Noisy as a fire truck, you just got to open up and get the crowd's attention turn to you. Situation 3 Someone you don't know takes hold of you and tries to force you to go with them. Freddie and Amy, what do you do? We yell. Ah! And I scream. This isn't my daddy. Sometimes you just got to yell and scream. Sometimes it's the only thing to do. Noisy as a fire truck, you just got to open up and get the crowd's attention. Club. It's too bad every kid in the world isn't a safety kid. But they can be. All they have to do is follow the safety rules. We've learned a lot of things. Now all we've got to do is remember them. We'll remember them. Are we good safety kids? What do you think? Are we good safety kids? We're the safety kids. The safety kids. The safety